have been completing my special tasks. They have no idea how the others have done, but they will soon find out. To kick things off, let's introduce these fabulous people. We've got Ben Moja. <laughs> and Reese Randall. <laughs> Max Barber. <laughs> Owen Gage. And Parker Bozer. <laughs> and seated to my left, he's my assistant and the mastermind of the impending chaos that is this show. It's David Ha. <laughs> I'm absolutely dying to get started, but first, let's start off with some banter. Uh, yeah, well, so banter is really more of like a British thing, and this is Sassmaster Minnesota, we're from America, we don't do banter, we more just do cheeseburgers and gun violence, so I thought instead of banter, we could try a staple of American reality TV and maybe have some drama. Sure. As I said. Okay. So I'll, 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 I'll start the drama. Already, not so, good for me. Um, how, how could you? <laughs> with, with my mom and my dad? Ah, <laughs> uh, I need a new assistant. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the prize task. Not only are these contestants competing for the glory of victory, uh, they will also be competing for each other's possessions. Um, this week, each contestant has brought in a prize, and the overall winner of the entire series uh, will be taking home six fabulous prizes. Um, we will not be doing five prize tasks this season because uh, these are college students. I suspect that they did not own five things each, so <laughs> we're just going to be doing one prize task. So this week they've been asked to bring in the cheesiest thing that isn't just cheese. Uh, whoever Luke judges to have brought in the cheesiest thing that isn't just cheese uh, will win six points and be that much closer to taking home the grand hall of the season. Uh, who do you all start with? Uh, I'd like to see Ben's cheesiest stuff. Okay. Do you need me to grab it out? Yeah, we, we, we do need to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I just describe it. I just describe it. I don't know what it is. I mean, just a picture. Okay, it's the wrong pocket, I think. Okay, do you want to start with someone else? Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. I, I, I brought in some cheesy things. I have earbuds on the VHS. There's a barcode for five fifty on this, and I only paid $0.50 cents for it, so... That's a good deal. Oh my gosh. Question, yeah. did you watch all three of them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us like, a plus summary, please? Yes. It's a <laughs> hair bud. It's very cheesy. There's this dog, and he plays basketball. Yeah. I think that goes for all three of them. So. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> all right, wonderful. Uh, let's take a look at Max's cheesiest item. Okay. Um, I went a little simplistic with this one, I will admit. <laughs> I did my Cheez-Its snack mix double cheese. And I will say there are like layers to this. I didn't just get any Cheez-Its. I mean, there's a lot of Cheez-Its to choose from. But well, I mean, one of the obvious things is, well, if I want something cheesy, I want double cheese rather than regular <laughs> cheese. So I went for double cheese. Why did you get double cheese instead of triple cheese? Did I have triple? Is there triple cheese? Is that uh, I assume so. No, I, I, I only double cheese. Everything I hear about is like the three cheese. They're doing a yeah, big three cheese. cheese roll out soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Three cheese roll out. Yeah. Max, I'm already slightly angry. Yeah. 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 Um, let's look at uh, Carter's cheesiest item next. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of a, a little bit of an insight. You have to know a lot of context here. <laughs> so, the United States military launched a propaganda campaign centered around the titular, well, it's not the titular, it's a character known as Uncle Sam, and he would be pointing at the audience saying, I want you to sign up. For the mill, it's not. That's what I want you to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I'm not 
not very good at like, remembering, but it's something along those lines. And but see, this is a parody, okay? And it's it's Star Wars themed, okay? So here we have the red M and M, the most handsome of the M and M, dressed as Darth Vader. And he says, I want you to join the dark side. Because in the movie Star Wars, the dark side is the side that Darth Vader's on. You're explaining a lot. I just wanted to make sure you guys got it. <laughs> I'm just not sure I can understand. Can you explain that again? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, um, let's look at uh, Owen's cheesiest item next. Okay. Well, I'm sure your eyes have all been glued on this <laughs> beautiful <laughs> construction over here. Uh, I, I created the, the cheesiest item of them all. It, it, it is a slippery slope, you see. Uh, and, and, you know, so I was thinking, okay, what, what does cheesy mean? And so I, I looked at a dictionary because I can't, I'm not creative, right? And one of the definitions was blatantly inauthentic. And I was thinking, God, what's the most blatantly inauthentic argument I know? Of? It's the slippery slope <laughs> argument. I mean, like, like you, you can do it with anything, and it means nothing, because everything exists on a spectrum. So it's like, you, know, it, you, you can say anything, and like, that's a slippery slope there, you know? <laughs> you know, we do that, and then the next thing you know, baby's dead. I have also, you know, Graciously yeah, applied. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's got it's got cheese spread on it all over uh, it. You know, it's yeah, cheese. You know, spread. All right, so moving on. Uh, let's take a look at Henry's cheesiest item. All right. Um, so a little bit of a story. I went to Chicago this last weekend, and something that Chicago is known for is their popcorn. You know, you have your cheese and caramel mixed popcorn. And since I was in town, I grabbed a small bag of the cheesiest popcorn Chicago has to offer. Garrett's cheese corn. I did not get the Chicago mix because that would include caramel corn and make it less cheesy. So this is about the cheesiest popcorn you can probably find in the world. <laughs> That's what I got. I can smell it. it. <laughs> so you traveled across like two states to get like a cheesy snack and then I went to Target 30 minutes before I came over here. Yeah, I'm hoping I get one more point than you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it speaks to how much he wants to win, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, last but not least, we've got Parker. I'll, I'll debate that claim you just made, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when I was little, uh, I really liked soap because to my like baby brain, I was like, oh, cheese, that's soap. <laughs> and this, this, I was about to say cheese, this soap, was like my favorite because it really looked like cheese. This is like special laundry soap. And my parents were really careful to keep this out of my reach because they knew that like, unlike most babies who would like take a bite of soap and be like, ew, gross soap, I don't want that. I would like go ahead and like actually eat the whole thing because I had done that before with dishwasher soap. And so like, this is like pretty much indistinguishable to cheese for me. I think that's a I think that's Could cheese. You take a bite you take, right? I think, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta eat it. I, <laughs> I, I think Owen has to take a bite. I'll test it. I think yeah, it's I, cheese. Owen's making a claim here. I feel like Owen would have to. Oh, that's cheese. Look at that cheese. I hate cheese. I'm really allergic to cheese. This is why I'm foaming at the top. God, that is just so weird. All right, so Luke, you tell us from uh, least, <laughs> least cheesiest to uh, most cheesiest. Right, um, so... They all they all succeeded in bringing in things that weren't just cheese, so no, no issues right. there. Right, um, I'm going to put the two that were closest to actual cheese in last. Um, I'm going to put uh, the cheese corn in sixth place and the cheese that's in fifth place. <laughs> what? Why is the cheese uh, the whoa. cheese in it? Because this it actually has cheese in it. Right, but I'm going with the, the cheesy definition that it's not cheese. Because uh, you're supposed to say cheese. Yeah. I'm looking for something more, if you will. Alright, so um, one point Henry, two points for Max. Yes. It smells <laughs> really good. Uh, so I'm going to put uh, Parker in fourth place, uh, because he made a compelling argument for why it seems like cheese. Um, but it was a yeah, bar of soap. Yes, yeah. it's not cheese. <laughs> Um, I'm putting in the Airbud DVDs in third what? place. What? This is 
cheesier than a slippery slow? <laughs> what, what, what's cheesy about a slippery slow? Nothing. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm putting the slippery slope uh -oh. in the second place, um, and I'm putting uh, the I Want You t-shirt in first place. <laughs> Now that the contestants know what they're playing for, let's get started with the first regular cast of the show. All right, uh, I need to win. <laughs> uh, before we get started here, I do actually have a special surprise that I have not told anyone in this room about. Hello, Mark Watson here. Um, I'm a, my uh, timeline for this um, cameo is running out, so I'm having to do it in a, a bar, a station bar, and uh, Talking Heads playing quite loudly, which, I mean, I like Talking Heads, but it makes it more difficult to do this. So I hope you can hear this. Um, I, my job here is uh, to introduce uh, a home taskmaster on behalf of David Ha. The contestants, as you probably know, are Ben, Carter, Henry, Max, Owen, and Parker. And the uh, taskmaster himself is Luke, and the Alex Horn figure, is David. I wonder if I can... <laughs> Sorry. It's fiddly. I'll go. Go on, thank you. Right, I'm, oh, oh. I'm outside the bar now, just in case. Uh, so, to clarify, uh, home Taskmaster, I'm Mark Watson from The Real Taskmaster, Series 5. Some people's favourite, not always. Uh, <laughs> but oh, it is up there, right? Uh, and uh, the uh, the taskmaster himself is Luke. The assistant who booked this is David, so the Alex Horn. Uh, and again, the contestants: Ben, Carter, Henry, Max, Owen, and Parker. And you're in well, M N U S A. It says Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. Um, well, I've never been there. So, uh, well, thanks very much for asking me to do this. It says our favourite tasks are your cheeky texts, the song, and the coconut piggyback ride. Two of those tasks ended. I suppose, in failure, <laughs> <laughs> um, but they ended up being sort of the most memorable, or among the most memorable moments of the show. What can we learn from this? Taskmaster's not always about winning, it's about, you know, doing your best, making a good impression, making the best of the circumstances. So that would be my advice, I've been asked for advice. Uh, <laughs> above and beyond good luck to the contestants, I would just like to say, give it everything you got, Sometimes you need to think naturally, sometimes you need to put an enormous amount of effort in and it won't really be justified, but um, <laughs> if you enjoy it as much as I enjoy being on the actual Taskmaster, you should be in for a good time. And good luck to Luke and David making that happen. Hope it goes well. Oh. <laughs> to uh, send us, uh, send you guys some advice. Um, I also tweeted at Alex Horn and he ignored me, so. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the real first task. First task uh, involves a fruit and a noodle. A burger. Hey David. Right here? Yep. Perfect. Oh, okay. I got some things to play with. Is this an olive? No, it's a grape. Okay. <laughs> My initial instinct is that this grape has to get through the pool noodle. But there's, there's a lot more words than that. Get a grape into something smaller than this room from the furthest distance. You may only launch a grape by spitting it Headbutting it, hitting it with your shoulder, hitting it with your heel, or hitting it with this pool noodle. For this distance, spit, headbutted, shouldered, heeled, or noodled into something smaller than this room wins. You have 20 minutes, your time starts now. Something smaller than this room. <laughs> Lord, um, 20 minutes though, so I think. So, like that room over there. You know, the other room that is smaller than this room is an object that, by comparison, is a smaller room. Right? Yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> I guess, it, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that you were making it off a little. <laughs> um, we 
we're going to start with Henry's attempts. Go, you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's got to be just smaller than this room, right? So if I can find a room that's smaller than this room, that would count. Let's start with spinning, because I think that would be, that would be a good baseline. Do I only get one try? All the information is on that. That's right. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me read it one more time. Oh, that, that was pretty good. I got some distance on that. Okay, do you want to stay there so I can measure it? That's probably, all right. Yeah, okay. Now I'm right here. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I think I made it in, but I think I half the grave. What if I half the grave? What if that's a piece? Half the grave. <laughs> There's half a grape right there. <laughs> and then the other half is somewhere in the room. I can see the other half. <laughs> it went rolling. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I'll get half this then. Maybe I'll get <laughs> Can I have like tape to tape this grape back together? Yeah, I'll just tape it. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> We're doing surgery on a grape right now. All right. That's not bad. <laughs> Surgery complete? Definitely a whole grape in there. <laughs> All right, that went in the room again. I don't think I'm gonna get any better than that. You done? Yeah, I think so. All right, thanks, we'll Henry. today. Thank you, David. Yeah. Henry, you look like you've performed surgery on a grape before. <laughs> that was actually my first time on the Total Rookie. Really? Yeah. There was, yeah, there was just a whole bunch of grapes in the fridge. <laughs> go for those at all. Just stuck with the one that you started with. Yeah, I kind of figured that that was, you know, the special grape, the designated grape. Um, but he made pretty far. It was, um, he, uh, he hit the grape with the noodle um, 17 feet and three inches which is uh, the length of two bassoons if you unfold it wow. down. Um, so. right, who are we looking at next? All right, I've put two of them together. Uh, this is Max and Parker's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Great about the noodle. Is it over if I eat the grape? Or do I just auto lose? I feel like if I get too smart Alec, and like try and like spin into this room, because this room's probably smaller than this room. I'll probably get beat, dude. I think that's like too smart. You can like get DQ for being too smart. Exactly. No, no, no good in being. Nothing good has come from being smart. Too smart. I guess I could line it up on something. I'm trying to figure out like where I get the most like flick but still have enough control, and I think this is probably where it's good. <laughs> 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 Oh! 
Oh! Ah! Oh! No! Oh my god! Oh, that was such a good shot! No! Oh, 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 oh! Oh! Oh, come on! Bad luck, Parker. Yeah. That. That was tough. Grapes were good, though. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. I have like 20 seconds, but I'm not going to break any more grapes over this. All right. Over my assured victory. Thanks, Max. Thank you. Um. I will say, I remember my attempt being a lot more graceful. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was embarrassing, I will say. The amount of times, I didn't remember missing that many times. That that first shot. Yeah, you also, you also tried building a ramp to, to roll the grape into the other room, but you said that that didn't work because I didn't buy you enough ramp materials. <laughs> Am I wrong? Um, yeah, but he did pretty well. So um, Henry, if you remember, got 17 feet 3 inches. Uh, Max's um, last hit uh, into the room uh, got a distance of 17 feet 8 inches. Oh. Why, did, why is everyone sad about that? <laughs> uh, it's approximately the length of two trombones, if you were stretching <laughs> Do you want to talk about Parker's? Or? I'd rather not. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll say Parker, Parker uh, swung at the grape 61 times in total. Uh, he hit the grape, yeah, about half the time and got close to the bucket about twice. Um, but he did get that first hit um, in, in the original room into a wood box. Um, it was a distance of 14 feet, 2 inches, or about 13 piccolos just lined up. You don't need to, you don't need to stretch them out because they're already... <laughs> All right. Who have we got next? All right. Um, next, we're going to see two people who took more uh, of an oral based approach. Um, this is Ben and Carter. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Oh, okay. You want me to measure that distance? Uh, oh, furthest? <laughs> oh, from the furthest distance from here. Uh, well, from where you launch it, so it would be from your head to the... Oh, envelope. I don't think that went very far, so no. Okay. Um, let's not measure that. Okay. Okay. All the inferences on the test card. Oh my gosh. That must be really bad at reading. Jeez. I can go outside. Does it say you can't go outside on the test card? No. I'm just, I'm making sure. <laughs> I'm not, I'm spitting this. Okay. So I spit it, goes, it rolls, and then it rolls into here. That's the plan. Okay, got it. Okay, get it through your head. Okay. Be measuring something? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. This is a shit taping job. This is gross. It's a gross grape. What's wrong with it? It's been in my sweaty hands for like 10 minutes. Ah, 
Oh, oh my god. First try. Should say something snappy, shouldn't I? Grape that. There we go. That's my catchphrase. Grape, grape that. Grape that. Okay. Great catchphrase. <laughs> okay. Of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ben, can you walk me through what you're expecting happened with the swing there? I don't remember. <laughs> um, I think I was gonna like try hitting the swing, and then it would, then the grape would fly off the swing. It was really odd because, because we, we we went out we went outside. You did that, and then went right back inside. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that's all I did outside. I was like, I'm just right gonna try spinning it. There's no exclamation. There. About that. You have no explanation. I was just like, what is he doing? I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but um, downstairs worked pretty well uh, for Ben. He, d he did get in there, um, if you remember. So we had Henry 17 feet 3 inches, Max 17 feet 8 inches, Ben 17 feet. <laughs> Darn. So, uh, um, yeah, just just about one and a half French horns if you were to uh, oh. roll them. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm pretty impressed that Carter got it in the first try. I was too. <laughs> I, I lined up the ramp and I was like, I'm not going to be able to spit it that far. I flew all the way over the ramp. I didn't it at all. You didn't yeah. use it at all? No. No, he spent more than half his time setting up the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly. Great. Never touched the ramp. <laughs> I, I just, so I wanted to see your yeah. spit because when I saw, we saw Henry do a spit and then we saw Parker <laughs> as well. And we spit it like three feet max. Yeah, yeah and it just kind of you somehow shot it across the entire room. Like, can I say? Yeah, Carter, Carter spit the grape forty feet and eleven inches. <laughs> 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 cheeks to get him through the task. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well we've got one person left, and uh, if you're new to Taskmaster, usually when we separate one person and leave them for the end, it's because it's for one of two reasons. It's really they good. either did very well <laughs> or very badly. Let's take a look at how much down here. Hitting it with your heels. I wonder how far to hit that. Get a grape into something smaller than this room from the furthest distance. But it doesn't say I have to launch it. But I can only launch it using a few things, but I think I can do other stuff with the grape using other stuff. What other stuff do you want to do with it? Can I start, you know, a mile away and just run the grape over and drop it in? Um, we've got 16 minutes left. Yeah, where's the fun in not trying to cheat? <laughs> That's what I think. Like. <laughs> See you in 16 minutes! Alright, bye Owen. Thanks, Owen. <laughs> that was very impressive. <laughs> yes, uh, Owen. Uh, Owen's distance was zero point six five miles. Uh, <laughs> um, got the great. Um, yeah, it's approximately seven hundred eighty trumpets. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. I see no flaws. All right. Well, we're all pleased. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Do we measure distance from like start to end where you started? This moving the grape. This is what we're asking. Right? Right? Can we repeat the rules? Just, uh, yeah. just yeah. I'm yeah. curious what the rules are. Yeah, yeah, I really the task was get the grape, get this grape into something smaller than this room from the first yep. distance. You totally. only wash this grape by spinning a head on a head. Oh yeah, yeah. but I thought it was very funny when he yeah. read, "You may only launch this grape," and then he goes. 
I can do other stuff too. <laughs> uh, so, uh, one point to Parker, uh, two points to Ben, three points to Henry, four points to Max, five points to Carter, and the win that task is Owen Gage. <laughs> All right, uh, next up we've got a very American task. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Hi. I like the cows. <laughs> Create the best fireworks display without using fireworks. Best fireworks display wins. You have 10 minutes to plan your fireworks and 20 minutes to execute your firework display. Your time starts now. Okay. Is there anything that really explodes? Fireworks? Yeah. Real helpful. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Yeah, really, anytime that, that Max asked me a question, I would just try to answer it as stupidly as possible. <laughs> Alright, we'll go first. Okay, uh, first up, we're going to see Owen's fireworks. to uh, the point about the show in general. Um, so as you guys know, the prize tests do not be run one until the finale, but each each episode, the winner of each episode will still get to take something home. It'll be just a relevant item from that day's test. Uh, today's prize is a cool noodle from the first test. Yeah. Well, so, once we know we've got wow. so the winner of today's uh, episode will go home. Oh, with yeah. a shiny noodle. Okay. I'm actually trying now. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Henry. Henry, do you have Anything you want to say before I show this? Um, it's good to keep everyone's expectations really low. Okay. <laughs> here's, here's how many times. Okay. Video paused? Yeah, there's no video. Yeah, it's, 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 a still, <laughs> it's a still image. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, okay. It's a still life for you. Good composition. I like to use the colors. Well, I took, actually, I took the picture. If I were guessing what it was, fireworks might get guessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Alright, next. Uh, right, next up we've got Max. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> 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 oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have thrown it really hard. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Did I guess that's all right? Okay. A beautiful, like, a, it's like I already had green and red, and then use blue and yellow to accent the like, colors, and everything would be this this popping, beautiful <laughs> display. And what ended up happening was a watery mess and a splitting tablecloth down <laughs> the lawn next to the house. But after we after we filmed that, Max kept saying like how terrible it was, and I thought it was actually pretty good. It wasn't really until I reviewed the footage later. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> 
All right, so we've seen uh, three people who focused on what fireworks look like. We're now going to move on to the people who have to focus on what fireworks do, right? So we're going to start with Carter here. After this, I actually had to go into the bathroom and wash my shirt. Right. Just yeah. stay <laughs> We're gonna move on to Ben. Uh, ben had kind of a similar idea. I'm gonna say different results. Mine, mine was more symbolic. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, I would say one thing that Ben kept saying during the planning phase is he just said over and over again he did not want it to be garish. Yeah. That was <laughs> number one priority was not garish. So. Yes. No. Okay. fireworks. Okay, so just to be clear, you're going to be holding a torch while wearing paper all wrapped around your body. That's the. Put it like that. <laughs>
I'm very proud right now. <laughs> I feel like I've I've done I've done my country uh, a very valuable service. <laughs> Stack me against uh, uh, 50, 40, uh, and 60 veterans. <laughs> every time. It was truly beautiful. I I really yeah. enjoyed that. That was that was great. That was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Squirm. Yep. Has to be tricky. Some um, some of them are be tricky. <laughs> Um, yeah, start they're bottom. all so good. I think I'm going to put Henry in last um, because it was just a picture. <laughs> and I'm going to put Ben in second to last. <laughs> um, there was you know, something going on. Um, I'm going to put Owen in. No, I'm going to put. I'll put Max in fourth I, place. I did think you forgot about me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to. I'm going to put Max in fourth place. I, I, the, the, the watermelon chucking was impressive, and I enjoyed that. Um, then I was confused for the rest of it. Um, third place is going to go to Owen um, with his emotional uh, display. Uh, I'm putting, I'm I'm putting Carter in second. Okay. Uh, and then I'm putting Parker in first. And when I pass the Parker here. Have three tasks. Let me take a look at the scoreboard. All right. Um, yes. Uh, in the last place right now, we've got Henry with five points so far. Um, fifth place is Ben with eight. Max uh, fourth with nine. Parker's got ten. Uh, Owen's in second with fifteen, and our current leader is Carter Green with sixteen points. All right. Um, we've got an artistic task coming up now. Uh -oh. <laughs> Not good. Looks to be painting. Oh Lord, God help me. You like, you like painting art? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> not very good. Paint David on the canvas behind the chair. You must be making eye contact with David throughout the task. You may not move the easel. You may break eye contact three times for as long as you want, but you cannot add paint to the canvas while eye contact is broken. Best painting of David wins. You have 10 minutes. Your time starts now. Oh, this is going to be tough, man. So clearly, the key to doing well this task is going to be strategically spacing out your eye contact breaks. <laughs> right. Yeah. You wouldn't want to use all of your eye contact breaks. You only get you only get three. To, 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 you can only bring eye contact three times to prepare your stuff. So if you use them all right at the beginning, then you'd have to do the entire rest of the task completely like blind. Sure. No one would do that. No. <laughs> should we? Uh, should we start hammering? <laughs> <laughs> Broke eye contact once. Fuck. Right, that's two. I only get to break eye contact one more time. Got it. <laughs> I can blink. That's good. Okay, Ooh, well, you flipped right. away now. Yeah. All right. This is this is gonna be interesting. You got a nice strong jaw there. Oh, I lost my spot. Okay. See, that's probably still in the suit. You give me a yes when you when you think that's where your eyes should go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Can I look at it now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Used all three of his eye contacts, breaks within the span of 47 seconds. <laughs> he had 10 minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't plan that out well. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry, here's Henry. Here's Henry's 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 Henry's
three more of them now. We're going to look at uh, Ben, Max, and Owen also. Six. Okay, this is going to, I have to break eye contact to set up, so. Why did, why did I, why do I need blue? I don't need blue. <laughs> why did I look back? I can break eye contact three times, but I wasted one of my look backs on nothing. I'm gonna just break it a second time and get all my stuff ready. My brain keeps wanting me to move my eyes. David, I don't know how to do this. Won't need that anymore. I don't know where these damn paint brushes are. That's the hard part. human. How do you think the elders did? The artists. Funnily enough, I actually think Parker did worst. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's their paintings. <laughs> <laughs> I really like Max. Or Max. Oh, great job. Yeah. Yeah. I've, been, I've been working at a summer camp all summer, and let me say, you have some serious talent. <laughs> 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 I, I really like how uh, Owen, when he was painting, his, the first thing that he makes is a red box at like the top of the camp. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 okay. So, so he, he he was sitting in the red chair, and then the black that's his oh, suit, that's the uh, and then there's a little bit of tan that is his head, and it's then it's the big tree behind. Oh, it's yeah. the big tree. A very impressive. You can't just barely see on on Ben's here. There is a face, yeah. a red face right here. <laughs> <laughs> It's clearly you. Yeah, and then I'll say uh, Max. And Max is Max here. Max also has a face. He drew it. Yeah, he drew. Uh, he, yeah, he's got me, and he's also drew the sun with sunglasses. Um, <laughs> who he named Stevie Sunder. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say also Owen this week sent me uh, this picture as well. <laughs> and, uh, uh, at his house, um, his mother presumably. Um, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right. So, well, no, I'm wondering if Parker did indeed do better. Right. So we've taken a look at uh, three computer scientists and uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, one sorry. computer engineer. Uh, <laughs> we're now going to look at two uh, art majors, illustration majors, yes. who do both attend the Minneapolis Academy of Art and Design. Uh, at college, college, actually. College. So these are going to be amazing. <laughs> you would think, wouldn't you? All righty. Oh wait, I'm, I'm on a timer, dang it, I forgot. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. You look stunning today. I don't see that much. This is so fucking hard. <laughs> Yeah, fuck this brush. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do- oh. Damn it. Okay, this is gonna have to be tactile. Fingers. 
four fingers, thumbs, wrists. Been a little bit something extra. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna fucking suck, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you groaning? <laughs> it's helping! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm imagining that you're giving me a space with because I've perfectly painted you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I sort of had you at, at the like three minute mark. I might have overworked it. I might have overworked it. I'll be the first and last to admit that I overworked it. <laughs> Go, please. Um, here they are. Harder, <laughs> <laughs> oh. could you clarify what the little bit of something actually you added was? You know, dude has a little like extra pizzazz, which is a giant block of blood. <laughs> also, I want to thank David for cutting down my groaning to like five seconds. That was like a good four or five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that noise. Yeah. So, is that a little face, Carter, that I see? I'd like to hope so. <laughs> Where is it? It's, right oh, right right. it's between his hair. Right there. It's oh, pretty obvious. Yeah, that, that yeah. looks like a face. All right, um, so they all are together, so you have got to judge these. And it might be tricky to find uh, you know, which ones you uh, don't like here, but... This was such a fun uh, task. Uh, honestly, it was so much fun. You cracked so, over my eyes. <gasps> now, now it doesn't even look like anything. <laughs> 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 you ruined it. <laughs> okay, um, I think I'm gonna put Parker in last place. I honestly cannot tell what's going on. Um, I'm going to put um, Owen in fifth place. What is it? And I click painting. It's more of a, a landscape uh, painting. Uh, I'm gonna put Bennett in fourth place here. Um, through at least the face. Um, I'm going to put um, Henry in third. It does look vaguely humanoid. <laughs> and then I think I'm putting it um, Carter in second. Yeah! <laughs> uh, that leaves Max in first place. <laughs> So, have you considered switching majors? <laughs> <laughs> I know I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass the uh, Just one left. Um, here we go. Um, and I gamble that you're going to like this one. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ben. Hey. Hi, Carter. Oh, boy. Yeah, hi. Great that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Move as many poker chips onto the bar counter as possible. You may only use the items on this table. You cannot touch the poker chips with anything other than the items on this table. Most poker chips on the bar counter wins. You have 10 minutes, your time starts now. Okay, well, good thing I'm an engineering fiend. I'm not, I don't know why. Yeah, so task was they needed to move as many poker chips as they could from that table onto the bar counter. They had 10 minutes and the items, they could only touch poker chips with the items that were on that table, the items I gave them, were just things that I thought might you know, be useful for moving poker chips. So pipe cleaners, a plastic knife, a pair of chopsticks, 10 sticks of gum, a pile of rubber bands, a plastic cap that was just slightly smaller than the poker chips, a Rubik's Cube, and a tennis ball. We clearly never tried to move 100 poker chips. It mills are not helpful at all. Uh, do a little better next time. Let's take a look. All right, um, we're going to start off with Henry and Parker. Let's take a look. You have 10 minutes. Your time starts now. Okay. Could I move the table? <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, this might be as close as I'm getting it, but that's closer. Go! <laughs> four stack, four stack, four stack. Aw, yeah. Let me read this task. I can only use the items on this table. So would the task count as an item on this table? It's up to you. All right, I might get back points, but I'm going to count it because it was on this table when I got here. Just kind of brushing these in. Rubik's Cube? What is this gonna do? Uh, I mean, you can solve it to entertain yourself. Solve it. Solve. <laughs> Are you entertained? No. <laughs> All right, boom, there we go, I'm done. <laughs> Great work, Parker. Thank you. Thanks. Awesome. I have a question. Were the pipe cleaners like in a shape or were you just using I them? I was like bent in like a little contraption. Uh, I was like, <laughs> you really <laughs> should be an engineer. Uh, <laughs> I'll kill it in the pipe cleaner class. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big uh, Rubik's Cube person, are you? I'm a human person. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Henry used the task on the table, which was yeah, perfectly legal. Um, and Parker used, yeah, contract out pipe cleaners. Um, they both did pretty well. Uh, Parker moved uh, 99 poker chips in 10 minutes. Um, and it Henry moved all of them, all 191 of the poker chips Ooh. in 10 minutes. Yeah. Who's left? Uh, next up, we're going to see uh, everyone else, actually. We're going to see everyone else <laughs> together. It's Ben, Carter, Max, and Owen all Jeez. together. What's the Rubik's Cube supposed to be for? Uh, moving poker chips. Oh, uh, yeah. David? Oh, what's up? I'm a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> Most poker chips in the bar come in, so you have 10 minutes for time to Um, well, the tablecloth is on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Did they all move all the poker chips? Yes, uh, so all four of them, yeah, they all moved the tablecloth for legal, they all moved to 109. So every person moved every single poker chip except for Parker. <laughs> <laughs> the second that I saw this task on the TV, I was like, can you can you use the tablecloth? <laughs> and then I was like, nobody would do that. <laughs> that would be dishonest enough. Um, there was one other thing though. I don't know if you remember, but there was a rule that they couldn't touch the poker chips with anything other than the items on the table. Right. So I've got another clip here to show. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> you cannot. All right. I might be already dead dead because I touched it, but I'm going to let it fall. I'm not going to touch it with anything else. My 
My hand was only in the way, only in the way. That was a completely unintentional touch. Let's be a little more careful with these now. Owen oh, touched two, so I don't know if you want to factor that in. Um, I will say none of them, it didn't actually help any of them complete the task. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if maybe you want to just drop them below the <laughs> non rule breakers or uh, and then just score everyone who didn't break the rules. All the zeros. Or just, yeah. You know what? I made a mistake and I'm willing to own up to it. <laughs> I'm not willing to own up to it. I'm not. I mean, I'm like. like you know, I, I'm gonna convinced by the quality of that footage that the rose were covered. I mean, that it could have been any other blue circular object. You know, and you, you went down and got those later, so. <laughs> How do you know they were the same ones? So I'm giving, I'm giving Max and Ben here each six points um, because they moved all the poker chips without touching any. I'm giving Parker four points in third um, because he moved four poker chips without touching them. That's to you. Qualified. Oh, so, I'm okay with that. Great, the winner of that task are Ben and Max. Parker got four points and moves the least amount of work. Yeah, it's only when he's in work. Pays dividends. <laughs> 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 Uh, so we're just going to leave the final scores. All right, before um, I announce the, the winner, I do just want to take a quick moment here and just thank Alex Horn and the Taskmaster team for um, hopefully allowing us to, to do this. <laughs> I haven't really cleared it by them. I want to thank the contestants for putting so much of their own, uh, own time into doing this. Um, I want to thank Megan for um, being out there and filming uh, four of the six days, so putting up a lot of her time as well. And I want to give the biggest thank you to Luke's grandparents uh, for letting us use your barn uh, for weeks on end. That was so unbelievably kind of you. We could not thank you enough for your generosity. Um, uh, can I, can we also thank David for doing actually everything for yeah. all of this? Definite clear uh, loser. Um, uh, in nine with nine points is Henry is Brandel in sixth place. Uh, only way to hear us up. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, we, so we jump up uh, to the next place, uh, up to fifteen points. Uh, Parker in fifth place, um, and then uh, in joint third, uh, Owen and Ben each with seventeen, and then uh, he's come back uh, from quite behind. Uh, Max and Carter. Um, are actually tied for 21 points each. Um, and I genuinely do not have the tiebreakers ready because I did not think this episode was going to be a tie because the only way it was going to happen was if Max brought in the worst prize and Carter brought in the best prize. <laughs> I, I thought Max was going to win this episode, so I don't have the tiebreakers ready. Um, so we are going to take our intermission now like I'm ready. So we'll, uh, we'll find out who wins in a little bit. Yeah, so uh, over the course of filming, we also filmed uh, a few tiebreaker tasks just in case the situation came up. So the tiebreaker that I'm gonna show, um, they had to balance the biggest thing on their head for 10 seconds was the task. So let's uh, take a look at how we do it. How are we counting big? Uh, big, like we're, we'll see how big it is. Uh, so that's a pick. It didn't happen to have a circle, but... 
Okay, it's been 10 seconds, Carter. It smells really bad in there. All right, thanks, Carter. Oh, that was pretty big. I hope that was pretty big. All right, any problems with that? Or? It does seem like the blanket is bigger than the book. All right. Um, so that makes Carter the winner wow. of the one. Wow. <laughs> right, I should probably wash this in my. Thank you for joining us for the first episode of Taskmaster Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs>